The channel has been dominated with trail running shoe first impressions videos at the start of 2023. So I thought it was about time we brought you guys some road running content. It's also been years and years since I put on a pair of Outra shoes and ran them on the road. So perfect timing. We just got our hands on the new deeply cushioned Via Olympus from Outra. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Outra have sent Lloyd a women's colorway, but no, this is a men's color option. A weird men's color option, but we're going to run with it and I've actually tried them on indoors to check the sizing and they feel super plush wrapped around my foot. It was like putting on a pair of comfortable old slippers. So let's dive into the video. We'll give you a few stats about the shoe and then we're going to be hitting the hard stuff and taking the Via Olympus out on its first run. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and you are watching Run For Adventure. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for another video. So one of our New Year's resolutions at the channel was to feature more road running content. Now obviously, I love trail running and we've got some mega trails to run on down here in Cornwall, but I also like doing faster sessions out on the tarmac. So we're going to be bringing you more of that this year and we're starting with today's video. Now, if you're new to Run For Adventure and you enjoy what you see, why not consider smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It's completely free to do and it only takes a few seconds, but it is a big help to the channel. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that bell icon because then you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content and you won't miss a thing but back to today and uh, let's jump in and give you a few facts and figures and break down the construction of this new deeply cushioned road shoe from Outra. Starting off with the price first and they retail for £145 here in the UK uh, even though it is clearly a heavily cushioned road running shoe it weighs in at a pretty reasonable 315 grams in a UK 9.5. Obviously being an Outra shoe and I, I say obviously but if you haven't come across the Outra brand before they only make shoes that run off a zero drop so no heel offset so you actually get the same stack height of 33 mil under your heel and under your forefoot so again giving you a running shoe that doesn't have that sort of standard heel offset that we get in a lot of running shoes another unique feature from the brand is their foot shape design so again very different shape to their upper compared to a more conventional running shoe so we got this very wide toe box shape giving you all that room all that volume so that you can sort of splay and spread naturally as you weight bear through your running stride and that's there to try and cut back on any chance of any restrictions as you make your way through your run uh, i've got to say it the first time you put it on it does feel a bit odd but it feels very comfortable to have all that sort of wiggle room in the toe box but also when you first look down at your feet when you're running it does look a bit strange and I'm not sure I'm ever going to get used to that. As far as the construction goes, we've got a very plush feeling, lightweight and breathable upper. We've got some small perforations starting at the heel, working down the midfoot and wrapping across the toe box just to help with added airflow. We've got this premium sort of ankle collar that gives you a high level of padding, so it feels very comfortable indeed. Similar story in the tongue, although the tongue is just a standard tongue, it's not gusseted within that upper, which is quite a rare thing nowadays for running shoes. So because of that, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of lockdown I can get around my midfoot. Working down to that chunky midsole, and Outra have chosen to use their most cushioned foam Ego Max because the Via Olympus has been designed to offer the runner a very comfortable, very plush ride, no matter how far the distance. I personally think it's going to make a good sort of daily workhorse trainer, one of those shoes that's going to soak up those longer, steady miles. Uh, I'm not sure how it'd handle quicker, shorter sessions. So on today's run, we might push on, run a bit faster over a couple of the miles just to see how the shoe handles speed. You can actually see in the midsole we're sunk down into it so you've got this guide rail sort of wrapping around your foot so even though you're running on a deep stack height it should feel pretty stable and pretty planted for a neutrally structured road running shoe. If I flip them over you can see we've got blown rubber on all the high wear areas and Outra have also worked in some inner flex grooves through that forefoot just to give you a bit more flex in the shoe when you're working your way through to toe off. So there you go folks, a bit of information about the new Via Olympus. Obviously we're going to discuss the shoe in more detail out on the run and we'll give you a conclusion about its performance when we get back to the studio. Um, I actually played cricket yesterday for the first time for 12 years so my body is feeling 
a little bit trashed. And I can definitely say one thing, you use different muscles to play cricket than you do to run with, and I can actually feel them all today. So it could be pretty interesting out there. But let's get these laced up and we'll see you guys out on the run. Firstly, it's early Feb and I've got sunglasses on. The weather is tropical today and we're what, two miles into the run. I don't know whether you can tell from that running footage, but the cricket has definitely made my right side of my body extremely tight. I feel like I ran up that hill like a robot. I'm hoping the further I run, the looser my body's gonna get and hopefully it'll actually do me some good. As far as the shoes considered, uh, first impressions are, it's definitely deeply cushioned. Maybe that Ego Max cushioning in the road shoe feels a little bit firmer than the Ego Max I've run in some of their trail shoes. Obviously, with it being an ultra shoe, I've got lots of volume, lots of wiggle room in the toe box, which feels great. Not fully convinced about the hold in the heel at the moment. I might have to uh, play around with the laces a bit before I start running again, try and get a slightly better lockdown around my midfoot. We're gonna try and get in a sort of steady seven to eight miles today. I will try and push on for a couple of miles to see how the shoe handles speed. I'm not sure my body is gonna allow me we'll see how it loosens up but yeah two miles down six ish miles to go but let's crack on see how this shoe performs so adjusting the laces seem to do the trick i've got a much better lockdown around my midfoot and i've got a much better hold in the heel sort of eight minute mile in we've just ticked over five miles and i'm happy to say the running is definitely helping to shake out some of that tension the batting was all right but bowling yesterday my right shoulder is still killing me it was like i'd never played the game before as far as the olympus goes it's feeling pretty good i am getting that sort of tingly numb forefoot sensation which can sometimes happen in a new shoe. It can be caused by lots of things. Sometimes a new shoe is too narrow for your foot shape. Well, we know that isn't the case because we're in an outer shoe and I haven't got a wide foot. Or it can be where you're running on that new midsole compound and it just needs to bed in a bit and soften up. I tend to find it sort of fades away eventually. If you wiggle your toes around, move your feet around as much as possible, it tends to ease off over time. And I think it is starting to get a bit better. So everything so far has been really steady, nice and comfortable. We're gonna push on for the next couple of miles, see how the body feels, should be all right now. But also we're gonna test out the shoe's performance with a bit of faster running. Right, fingers crossed, let's see how this goes. We are pretty much done with today's run and that felt pretty good. It was nice to push on a bit, stretch the legs out and definitely helped when it came to my tight body. And the Via Olympus actually felt better than I thought it would at that sort of tempo pace, but we got half a mile to go till we get home. So it's gonna be about nine miles by the time we make it. So all good, good mileage in the bag. We'll see you back in the studio. We managed to make it round and the body survived and we actually ended up clocking up 9.2 miles. Nice steady pace with a few quicker efforts thrown in for good measure. Uh, when I say quicker efforts, 
They weren't super speedy, but I did manage to get a couple of miles in just under seven minute miling, which I'm actually really happy with considering how the body was feeling at the start of the run. I think all that movement on the run did actually help shake out some of that tightness. So uh, I'm feeling all right now, but I do have a funny suspicion that I am gonna suffer tomorrow because of it. And did you guys spot the deliberate mistake when we were giving you a few stats about the new Ultra shoe? Yeah, I was in a rush filming and I spelt Olympus wrong on the light box, but you know, hey ho, never mind. We all make mistakes. As far as the via Olympus goes, well, there was definitely lots of positives out there. There was a couple of things I'm not fully convinced with as well. So let's start with all the good bits first. And this lightweight engineered breathable mesh upper feels very comfortable, very plush straight out the box. So no rubbing, no irritation or anything like that. And once I'd stopped after those first couple of miles, readjusted those laces, I think the shoe actually works well for my foot shape as well so I felt well held around that midfoot and well locked in to the heel. The nicely padded tongue and ankle collar give you a real feel of plushness so very comfortable across the top of the foot and in the heel but it hasn't been overdone where it affects uh, the fit in a negative way. I was also really surprised when I did pick up the pace a little bit that the Olympus actually handled it pretty well and a lot better than I thought it would. I still think it's a running shoe that's been designed for those longer, steadier runs, but I think you could get away with a few quicker sessions in it now and again. The Ego Max midsole felt pretty good underfoot. However, I was expecting it to feel maybe a little bit softer, maybe return a bit more energy. Don't get me wrong, it was comfortable, but I'd liked it to feel maybe a bit livelier and like I say, a bit bouncier as well. Now, obviously, this is the first run in the shoe, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how that midsole beds in over time because I'm sure when I've run in trail shoes from the Ultra brand that have that same Ego Max midsole, they've definitely felt a bit livelier and a bit more responsive. And lastly, I mentioned it while we were out on the run, I was getting that slight sort of numbness, that tingly feeling on the forefoot of both feet while I was out there. Uh, it did settle down a bit as I went through the run especially when I picked up the pace that seemed to really help and you know this isn't the first time this has happened to me in a new running shoe and some shoes just take a little bit longer to bed in and soften up so hopefully that will settle down and will improve so we'll be keeping our eye on that as we put more miles in the shoe and then we'll give you an update in our full in-depth review so to wrap up our first run video when it comes to the performance of the via Olympus from Ultra and I've got to be honest the jury is out for me at the moment because I'm not fully convinced by the comfort or the performance from that midsole. Uh, it did feel a little bit flat out on the run today and I was expecting a much more sort of bouncy, fun ride. And you know, there is a lot going on on the bottom of this shoe. We've got that very deep and very wide stack of cushioning and you do lose quite a lot of connection and ground feel and I'm not sure that's right for me. Obviously with this being the first run in the shoe, it'd be great to hear from you guys. So if if you've been racking up the miles in a pair of the new Via Olympus, let us know how it's going. So did that midsole take a bit of time to bed in and to soften up? Or are you still struggling with the performance of the shoe? Let us know all about it in the comments below. As far as videos heading your way, guys, we are going back to the trails with our next couple of first run, first impressions videos. So we got the very exciting Saucony Peregrine 13s. Uh, I've tried them on indoors. The shoe feels awesome wrapped around my foot. So very excited to run in them. We We've also got another trail running shoe from the Kayless brand and a model of shoe that I haven't run in before, the Fuga Yayo. So again, excited about that. On the review front, we have a new running head torch from Nightcore. And I've also just got a new hydration vest from Kalas that looks really interesting, really well put together, and it looks awesome. So then reviews will be on the channel soon. And last but not least, we obviously have the last episode in our epic arc of attrition series, and that is gonna be the race day video. We've had lots of people emailing and commenting, you know, uh, when's the video coming? Are you making a race day video? We are definitely putting one together. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clips from the race, so obviously, it takes a long time to go through all those clips and sort them all out, but there will be a video coming to the channel soon, guys, so keep your eyes peeled. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. As always, it is really appreciated by myself and Liga. We'll be back here very soon with some more epic running-related content. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. They feel super plush wrapped around your foot. It was like putting on a comfortable pair of old slippers. So let but it also feels very comfortable having all that sort of wiggle room. Um, but I, 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 I.
It's like numb, sort of tingly feeling on both feet on the forefoot. Uh, the hair. <laughs> Thank you.